Welcome to the Quran Motivation. Seven videos of Dr. Haifa Yunus will give you hope and boost your Iman. 1. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Don't despair. He will bring you back. Cry to him. Beg him. And he will bring you back. كل ابن آدم خطاء وخير الخطائين التوابون All the children of Adam are sinners. It's not my words. It's his, alayhi salatu wassalam. All of them are sinners. Who's the best among them? Those who repent, get up like a child, like you're two years old. He walk or she walks and fail. What do you tell them? It's okay, we all did it. You get up. You will learn how to walk. That's how it is. Don't despair. Don't let shaitan come and tell you you're useless. Just keep doing it. No. And keep living with قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا Successful indeed is the one who purifies it. It is the nafs. وَخَابَ Loser. Loser. Who will not do that? You don't want to be a loser. Ya Allah, give our souls, all of us, all of us, ourselves, it's taqwa. I can't do it. I need him to help me with this. Wazakiha, purify it. Anta khayru man zakaha. You are the best who can purify it. Simply, anta waliyuha wa anta mawlaha. You are the one who takes care of it. Two, are you attached to Allah? Are you attached to Allah? And I'm going to ask this question to everybody. If somebody asked you, are you attached to Allah? What will you answer? And the question is, what is connection? They call it in Arabic, at-ta'alluq billah. Ta'alluq is basically attachment. And the best way to learn this, of course, from my profession as an OBGYN, the baby inside the mom, right? They call him the first, one of the first stages called the alaqah. It's in the Quran, actually. You know what it is? It's the, this piece of blood, literally you can't even see it. When it comes, and this is the uterus, comes and attached to it. Attached to it to the point, if it does not attach, what happens? Dies. Miscarriage. It's the same root. I need you to give me your heart and brain. This small clot of piece of blood, if it is not attached well, you get miscarried, you die. That's how I am, should be, me and you, with Allah. Am I? Are we? Like if I am not attached to Allah, I'm dead. I'm dead literally, dead physically, dead emotionally, dead spiritually. Are we? Three, why did Allah create us? Why did Allah created us? Allah said, I did not create you, all of us, but to worship me. Is it that's it? The only thing Allah wants from me is fast, or pray, and go to Hajj if I can, or pay zakah if I am eligible. Learn this, and it's going to change your life. Everything, in anything, that Allah loves and is pleased with. Actions and sayings to worship Him. You are here, sitting with the intention of learning and becoming a better Muslim. That's an act of worship. You are sitting and somebody just came in and the chair next to you is empty. You moved without that person asking you. You moved. You made her or his life easy. That's an act of worship. Somebody comes sit next to you. And that person, again, I'm giving examples from today, from here. Doing things that is bothering you. Internally, you want to say something. But you kept, you practiced patient. That's an act of worship. Because that's something Allah loves. And Allah is pleased with. And it's an external. That's act of worship. For disease of the heart. Am I, at one point in my life, acted like Qarun, diseased? How did Qarun responded? And I'm going to say it and see if this is going to sound familiar. قال إنما أوتيته على علم عندي. I worked hard for it. 
I worked hard for it. You all are looking at me. It's not my words. That's the anchor. That's the anchor we're talking about. And Allah responded immediately. Alam ya'lam? Qarun? We have destroyed people before him, had way more money, much stronger. But you and me, subhanAllah, I love this story. You and me, we are weak. We look at people of power and money and status. And in me, say, I wish I have it. Ya layta lana mitla ma'out ya qarun. I wish we have what he has. إِنَّهُ لَذُوْ حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ He has a lot. How fortunate. Does that sound familiar? Do we say this to ourselves when we see people with more than what we have? What Allah has way better than this 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years. 5. Anger will destroy you. Anger. Disease of the heart. Anger. Ostentation. I do so people will please, so people will praise me, so people, and I get upset when I do something and people don't notice me. I get so unhappy when I don't hear thank you or jazakillah khair. That's a disease. That's actually even form of shirk. You didn't do it for Allah. Why do you care about people and you don't care about him? Why people are more important than him? Why everything else, and these questions are for myself before anyone. Why everything is number one? And then he, when I have time, when I can do it, when I grow up, when I finish college, when I get married, when I have children, and the list is long. Ostentation, <laughs> self-admiration. You think you are better than everybody else. Everyone else is not like you. Nobody is smart as I am. Versus Sayyidina Umar used to say, Kullu nas afqahu minka ya Umar. Everyone is more knowledgeable than you, Umar. Sayyidina Umar. Six, my problem is anger. What is my problem? My problem is anger. And yeah. when I get angry, I disobey Allah, I say things, I hurt people. I need to move away from these things. Four things less and one thing is more. The four less, which we absolutely don't do. What do you think? Less talk, less sleep, less food, <laughs> yeah, and less interaction with people. And more? Dick. Liquor? Exactly, mashallah. Remembering, remembrance of Allah is the cleaning agent of the heart. Any form. Of remembering yeah. Allah, reading Quran, memorizing, asking Allah for forgiveness, um, doing morning and evening uh, adhkar, saying subhanallah, yeah. reflecting on the nature, and you say, Ya Allah, what beauty is this? Yeah. Who are you? You know, that's a dhikr. And this process continues. It's not one day or two. And you will see yourself gradually changing, mm. much more calmer, much more appreciative of what Allah gave you, less complaining. Mm. Which is the, the the problem of these days? Yeah. Less, less, less complaining, less attached to the material things. If you have it, alhamdulillah. If you don't have it, alhamdulillah. Seven. Ask for more knowledge. There was no teaching that teaches you and me to ask for more, except one. In Surah Taha, and Allah said it through Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, and it's a dua. وَقُلْ رَبِّي زِدْنِي عِلْمًا Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. Any kind of knowledge. Number one halal is allowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Start learning. Start learning. Look for it. مَنْ سَلَكَ طَرِيقًا Start the path. Anything, whoever. Allah, my creator and yours, wants khayr. Goodness, goodness, general, for him or her. What does he do to them? Allah, give them more money, give them big homes, more cars, more vacations. No, 
yufaqihufiddin teach him or her the inner meaning of this beautiful islam that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you and me